Welcome back, my name is Chris Miller, and in this tutorial, we're going to begin learning WordPress plugin development. Now, uh, we're gonna start really at the basics to get simply de a defined WordPress plugin into place uh, without any functionality at all. We're simply want to figure out like, where does that folder live? What do we call it? What does it need? And how does it show up? And then in later videos, we're going to take a look at how do we begin building some meaningful functionality into that plugin. So let's get started. We're taking a look at our test site that we've been using throughout the series. Uh, we're going to navigate over here to plugins on the left and we see our plugins here. Now, we want to make our own plugin for one reason or another, and we want to see that appear in this list. But how? Well, first of all, we're going to take an existing plugin and we're going to change something here, but we need to figure out where does that live. So what we're going to do is we're going to open our project folder and we're going to go to app, public, WP content, plugins, and what we're going, we're going to pick on, what are we going to pick on? We're going to pick on the classic editor. All right, we're going to click and drag, drop that on our VS code. Okay, enhance. There we go. All right, now let's click on classic editor and say no to you and collapse the side here. Now, if you follow this series, at the beginning of it, we showed you how to define a theme. Here, it looks really similar. If you remember what that looked like, it was this commented header section at the top of the file. Defining a plugin is exactly the same way. So we're going to do a very, very quick demonstration by simply saying, changing the name classic editor to hello world. Hit save and we're going to refresh the page. And sure enough, the plugin title changed to hello world. Cool. That's awesome, right? But that doesn't really achieve what we wanted to do in this video. We want to see our plugin in that list. So let's uncomment this, hit save. We're going to close it. We're going to open up our files. Well, no, we're not. We're going to close out of that. We're going to open up the entire plugins directory by clicking and dragging it to our editor. We're going to say, yep, I trust you. And here we're going to create a folder. Uh, we're going to call it hello world. And inside that folder, we need to create a PHP file with the same header. And we're going to take a look at an existing plugin to sort of mimic its behavior. So uh, let's go ahead and create a new folder called hello world. We're following the same naming convention with our dashes there, all lowercase. And let's take a look at the classic editor. It looks like that the, uh, the PHP name or file name is the same as the folder name. Let's check advanced custom fields to see if it's the same. And it's not, it's shortened as ACF. Okay, that's interesting. Duplicate page. Uh, that one is duplicate page, but without the hyphen. So it looks like maybe we have some wiggle room. Maybe maybe we can do uh, anything. That's scary, right? So we can do anything or we can try to do anything. Let's open up our folder, hit the new document there, and we'll just say good old index.php. And we're going to give this the good old college try here in a second. So we're going to expand the classic editor again, click on the PHP here, and we're going to comment out this whole doc block or comment there and open up our PHP, paste it in, and we're going to say, hello world. We don't need this up here and we don't need a lot of this other information. I'm going to delete the rest of this information, however, if you're going to work on a legitimate plugin and you maybe want to release that or or maybe you don't want to release it, maybe you want to keep it internally for your team, it would still be a good idea to fill in the rest of this information. But for this video, we're just going to get rid of it. 
So get rid of the plugin URI, get rid of the version and the author and all this stuff. Let's see what we can get away with. Maybe we'll break it. All right. Save. I'm going to hit refresh. And there we go. We've got Hello World. And we've got this description here. And I'm going to go ahead and change it to be Lorem Ipsum. So let's go ahead and delete that. To Lorem. Ooh, what's the trick? Lorem 10. Oh, it's not working because it's not. Is it? because it's not HTML. Let's do our trusty um, Lorem placeholder. Do copy and paste. Refresh. There we go. There is our description there with our Lorem Ipsum. Our title, Hello World, and view details, which is going to have it doesn't have a bunch of missing things. That's strange. There must be a Hello World plugin in the public WordPress directory, and maybe this is picking up on that and grabbing that information since we're not defining it in this plugin. That's, that's interesting. All right. So we're going to come back here, and we're going to do one more thing before we wrap this video up, and we're going to change the name of the index.php file to see if uh, we can break it or if it still works. So let's change it to just be home.php. What does that do? Still works. Let's change this to say uh, hello.php. Hit refresh. S still works. Can we enable it? I wonder if that works. So we're going to hit active or activate. And it activated it. It still works. So evidently, doesn't matter what the root file name there is, uh, as long as there's a, a file, a PHP file, with this header at the top of that one defining some of the plugin details there. So we've got an active plugin that doesn't do anything, but guess what? We were able to get this done in maybe less than 10 minutes. And this is the basic uh, bare bones example of getting a WordPress plugin in place and uh, yeah, that's pretty cool, right? So come back uh, for future videos where we take a look at uh, more advanced concepts and building out real functionality for our plugin. But if you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you're on Twitter, come find me at Miller T. Chris and come back to the channel for more videos.